Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jolene. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, what we're gonna do is a little get ready with me. I'm gonna go shoot some looks today for my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will link my handle down below. Please follow me there. If you wanna see how I achieved this look, then please keep watching. So let's just get right into it. I already like prepped my skin, did my skincare, and I used this priming serum from Ilia, the True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. It just firms and smooths and it has aloe um, in it. So it just gives like a nice like radiant base. I usually just start with my concealer and I'm using the Merit perfecting complexion stick in the shade camel so i kind of just go like on the side of my nose and down like here so i don't go like super far over in to the middle part of my eye but this like kind of helps with contouring the nose a little. I don't do like a super heavy like contour or anything on my nose, but that kind of helps. And then I kind of go like right here on the outer, outer corner of my eye, my nose, up the bridge of my nose, some right here on my chin. And I get like redness too. Um, you can probably kind of see it right now because it's actually like really hot in here and we don't have air conditioning. So that's amazing. And then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender. I actually have um, the blush applicator sponge and it's like a tiny bit smaller than the normal beauty blender. But I don't know, I actually just like this one better. It kind of has a different texture than the normal one but I don't know this one just seems like it works better and I kind of like that it's smaller because then I can get like right in the corner of my eye and I don't know I feel like it just kind of works better I kind of switch it up between these two Ilia foundations the super serum skin tint with SPF 40 and this is in the ST12 Kokini, I think is how you say it, and the True Skin Serum Foundation in Badara, Badara uh, SF 8.5 are the colors that I use. And I like this one a lot just because it does give really nice coverage and it also has SPF 40, which is really nice. And I just kind of put it all over. Powder. This is like I bought this kind of a while ago and it's the RCMA no color powder So it's just like a translucent powder and it's huge. I didn't realize I was buying such a big one So this has been lasting me for a long time, but I just use this. I don't like it to be Too like powdery looking. I just Like to set it a little And I'm just gonna use this Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush to do that because I like how it's like pointed. And now I'm gonna go in and kind of like bronze up my face, contour a little bit uh, with the Ilia bronzing powder and this is in the shade novelty it's like the darker darkest uh shade that they have and i just use this it cosmetics airbrush powder wand number 108 <laughs> Everything in 
give myself a nice glow, bring the color kind of back to my face. I don't know. There's not really like a huge technique to this. I just kind of just go for it. I don't take a ton of product either, so it's just kind of whatever is left on the brush. All right. And now I'm gonna take this really old MAC, I think 100 brush. It's like the contouring brush that I've just always used. I should probably get a new one, but this is just what I use. And then I kind of just deepen the contour. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush and just kind of contour my nose a little. Contouring is done. Now I'm just gonna add a little color to my cheeks and I use the Ilia Atlas Multi Stick. This is kind of the color. It's like a really nice mauve rose color and I just use my finger and just kind of circular motions like on my cheek and just blend it out. And then I kind of just like go over the bridge of my nose right here just to kind of give a little like sun-kissed effect and then I kind of like bring it across to my cheek so it looks like I have like a nice little glow. And I take my beauty blender and just kind of like blend that out. And then I will just powder to set that. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the Ilia Fresco. This is a little, um, I actually got this as like a little sample. And it's the liquid powder eye tint. And okay, I'm obsessed with it now. So I'll probably, once it's out, buy a new one. But I feel like it's gonna last me a long time because it just, I don't really need that much, but I really like it on my eyelids. So I just put a little bit right in like the middle of my eyelid and then I just kind of pat it in across the whole eyelid and then kind of just like blend it up into my crease a little. And then I'm gonna go in with their Warm Nude eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty, it's like very warm, very like nice natural colors for, I don't know, pretty much anyone. I feel like anyone could use this palette. It's so good and they're really like creamy and nice and blendable powders, so I really like them. And I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is Unite, and just go in the crease with the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush and I just kind of like pat it in on the tip of the brush and just kind of swipe back and forth. Just like another fluffy brush, this is the Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush and I just take this kind of like light color grace it's like just a really like light tan color and I kind of just go just under the brow bone, just blend in. I'm gonna go in and do kind of winged liner, but I use a shadow, which I've been loving lately, and I use this brown shade Hunter. So I'll go in with that, with this uh, MAC 263 angled brush. I just kind of draw an angle up and I don't go too, like I don't make it too long. And then I go on both sides, but I kind of go from like my inner corner here up to like my brow is kind of where I angle it. Sorry, 
Okay, so I'm done with the winged liner. I like how it looks. I think it came out pretty and I really like the cat eye effect it gives and it's just like more soft and subtle because I don't like black. I used to wear black all the time, but I just don't, I feel like it's too harsh on me. Um, and then I'll just take whatever's left over on my angled brush and just kind of go on the bottom lash line. Just, I don't want to do like a line, but just to add more fullness, I guess, to my lashes. Oh, and then I take this like tiny Morphe M149 brush. I take that same color that I used in my crease and just go underneath and just blend that out with that line that I just drew. Just kind of smokes it out a little bit, but still natural. Okay, eyeshadow's done. Now I'm gonna move on to brows. And this is a new technique that I've been doing. So instead of using this Anastasia Beverly Hills tinted brow gel in espresso, I use it still, but I don't use this straight on my brows. And I'm using the Anastasia brow pencil. I don't know what the number is because it's gone like on here, so I can't see what it says anymore. I don't know if it had a number or not, but just their brow pencil. And I take the little spoolie and I brush my brows like upwards I don't have super thick brows, so I'm kind of trying to mimic the effect of having thicker brows by doing this. I take the pencil and I just take some product from this tinted brow gel and I start to just like draw like lines to mimic hairs. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. And I still like more of a bold brow. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown next. now this is what I always do I love like a bold brow I feel like my eyebrows are really light and I have a very dark hair so not very dark but I feel like it's dark brown and I just like the eyebrows to stand out more so I like to make a bold brow all right now we are going to take the clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to brush the hairs upwards. Now I'm going to take my highlighter from Merit, the Bounce Highlighting Balm, and I really, really like this. This is what it looks like. It's just like really pretty and natural looking and I kind of just use my finger. Now I'm gonna do mascara. And I'm using the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. It's my favorite mascara I've ever used. take the where is it Ilia the cheek color that I used and I'm gonna put it on my lips and I'll finish it off with a little bit more 
bronzer over my face. Kind of clean up the contour a little bit. brush and just kind of blend it all out again. And I'm going to finish it with my setting spray. I kind of use a lot because I just think it feels nice. Okay, this is the final product. This is the finished look. I just think it's like really pretty and glowy and super natural. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this and I hope you guys like the look. If you have any questions for me about any of the products I used or just how I do anything, just let me know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will see you in the next video.